The brick walls are not there to keep us out. The brick walls are there to show how badly we want something, because the brick walls are there to stop the people who don't want something badly enough. They are there to keep out the other people. Those words, my friends, were not just any words. They were the words of a man who knew his time on Earth was limited, a man who looked at the face of death and still found ways to inspire millions around the world. That man was Randy Pausch. Randy Pausch was a professor at Carnegie Mellon University, a husband, a father of three, and a man whose brilliance and zest for life were indeed unparalleled. Unfortunately, he was also a man diagnosed with terminal pancreatic cancer. But did that stop him? Absolutely not. Instead, he used his diagnosis as a platform to inspire, giving what would become one of the most iconic speeches in recent history, the last lecture. Now you may wonder, what is the last lecture? It's a hypothetical question. If you knew you were dying and you had one last lecture, what would you say to your students? Well, for Randy, this wasn't a hypothetical, it was reality. And he chose to talk about achieving childhood dreams and enabling the dreams of others. Throughout his lecture, Randy did not speak of death or despair. Instead, he spoke of dreams, of perseverance, of living life to the fullest. He spoke of brick walls, not as obstacles, but as opportunities. Opportunities to prove how much we want something, how much we're willing to fight for it. He encouraged each of us to ask ourselves, what are our dreams? What are the brick walls standing in our way? And most importantly, how badly do we want to overcome them? Randy believed that if we want something badly enough, no brick wall can stand in our way. It's a powerful message, a message that resonates with all of us, regardless of where we come from or where we're going. So what can we take from this? What action steps can we implement in our lives? Well, first, identify your dreams. Be honest with yourself. What are the things you truly desire? Next, recognize the brick walls. They're not there to discourage you, but to test your resolve. And finally, keep going. Keep pushing. Remember, the brick walls are not there to keep us out. They're there to show us how badly we want something. As we wrap up, remember Randy Posh. Remember his courage, his tenacity, his unwavering spirit. His life, though cut short, left a legacy that continues to inspire. His words, his wisdom, his perspective on life and death serve as a reminder to all of us that life is precious, that every moment counts. So go out there, chase your dreams, overcome your brick walls. Life is too short for what-ifs and could-have-beens. And remember, the future is bright. It's full of promise and potential. It's waiting for you to seize it. As Randy once said, we cannot change the cards we are dealt, just how we play the hand. So play your hand well. Make your life a story worth telling. Because in the end, it's not about the destination, but the journey that truly matters.